So in the QSN, so, so in the QSN guys, um, everything is going to relate to the three and five periodicity. Fong and I can almost promise you that fact. So our algebra, our topology, everything we do, one of our um, values is going to be this form that I'm showing you right now. So you've all read the paper on our borgit or helix, and you understand that given any helicity of one of the helices in the QSN, whether that be a helix of 20 groups, a helix of tetrahedra, whether the helix of tetrahedra is spaced out so that they're not even close together. So all forms of pattern of supercells in the QSN or prototiles um, are going to have these helical patterns of right or left. So when we, we, have our, we have three angles that you should keep in mind. Uh, one is the angle that we call P. One is the angle um, that, uh, that we call uh, J. And then the other angle I'll call X right now. <clears throat> they all generate one another. So the angle P, okay, which stands for phi, is the 15.522 degree angle, which is golden ratio base. This is the jitterbug angle. And so if you rotate the jitterbug angle, you generate P. If you rotate P, you generate the jitterbug angle. <clears throat> so the jitterbug angle is 22.23 something degrees. Another expression with the golden ratio. Angle X is 13.28 something degrees, again written with the golden ratio. X equals the Kabibo angle in five peer review papers plus our chapter eight of the Minkowski uh, Institute. Book. Approximately, isn't it like 13.02 or something? Oh, no, it's exact. So the, oh, the exact. five papers give an analytical expression, oh, yeah. and the analytical expression can be written as um, the arc. Um, tangent of the inverse of the cube of the golden ratio. Well, I think so, she's talking about that. That's 13.28 is, is, is a... Is oh, a I'm sorry. The, yeah, yeah, this is an... All these are irrational numbers. So they're analytical expressions, you know, I could write down, but... No, I, I was just thinking that the actual, the best known experimental value is like 13.02 or something, isn't it? 13 point... Okay, I'll, I'll have yeah, to check. you have check. to look at the chapter eight yeah. of that yeah, book yeah. and you'll see, and you'll see yeah. these references on these other papers which are more credible than ours because these are peer-reviewed and ours wasn't. But um, anyway, I just want you to get the idea that if you do this, you generate this. In other words, these are all um, generating one another. So just kind of look at them as a set. In, our ch in the chapter eight, we show how this value is the Weinberg angle if this is the Kabibo angle. Okay, and that, in other words, that claim fits within the tightest experimental bounds known to date so far. Um, now, so let's just, we, we can do what I'm talking about here with any of these angles. So I'm just going to select P as uh, one of them. And um, when, so right, the right-handed helix is represented by one. And then Dugan, can you see? I'd love you to understand this. So. To, um, so L is represented, I'm sorry, L, I'm, gonna rep, I'm sorry, I meant to say L is represented by zero, right is represented by one. And so in the first instance of, of each pair, we have the helicity. So you have some helix of 20 groups or any other supercell or prototile. And if it's one, the helix is right-handed, right? If it's zero, it's left-handed. The second number in the pair represents the direction that you rotate P, right, in these helices. According, you, it's all explained in our, in our paper that you've all read. So when, when you combine, when you have one, one, or zero, zero, you have a periodicity of five. That's represented in the geometry by the complete graph of five points. And the complete graph of five points has these sets. It has five one simplexes, ten, it has five zero simplexes, ten one simplexes, and, and five three simplexes. They're all distorted. I mean, these two, this one is distorted. But if you take it to four dimensions and you look at the equidistant 
connected graph of five points, then what you have is the connections as the complete and undirected graph of five points in four space uh, gives you uh, equilateral triangles, so proper simplexes. In any event, then we have the case with one zero and zero one, so a right-handed helix rotated with our angle in the QSN in the opposite direction, or a left-handed helix rotated in the opposite direction. So in this case, you have three periodicity in the structure. That's represented geometrically in the pattern as the complete undirected graph of three objects, and the set theoretics of that are three zero simplexes, three one simplexes, and one two simplex. So it's just kind of very simple, but inspired by the kind of um, simplification of your presentation that you showed. So I think somehow this, this, these values, there's no way in my mind that, that we can take ourselves seriously that we think nature can play out in the QSN in a kind of game of life in this phase on formalism without it deeply including this, these values here, this, this, this thing that we reported in that paper. It, it, how it's inherent, like you can't just cast it out. That three and five is deeply part of uh, the patterns that we have in there. So anyway, that's it. All right, thanks. So this is the same as your, is this the same as the, it's your It's eigen related values. to my eigenvalues yes, yeah. of the icosahedral group. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the same value, so there's a deep relationship to the matrix eigenvalues and then you find out, well, okay, why is that exact same value the only value that, that can transform these, any infinite dimensional AED or Z lattice to H3 symmetry in the dimension span of two to four dimensions? And so I don't know if we know that answer for sure, but it's interesting when you understand the matrix derivation of arc tangent one over phi cubed, and then you understand the geometric rationale for, for what it does with hyperlattices going to H3. I mean, H, H, two, three, or four. So there should be a relationship because it's the same values, but I don't know what that is.